Consider the Garden by Michael Collier. I worry for the broccoli's sake that it works too hard in this bad weather, is too anxious to please me, or that it has seen the eggplant and cucumber expand easily in lascivious shade and has watched, as I have, how those vegetables love only themselves, hoarding their seed until it would fall free of their dark skin. I want the broccoli to learn the ethic of busy work, the ramshackle shantytown of green beans, where piecework is sweet and profitable, and the tiny, delicate blue and white flowers with lavender pistils that are like the soft faces of infants about to be baptized. Such is my vanity when I look at the garden that I think I can influence the destiny of plants, could instruct them or tell them with my tending about the justice that lies everywhere in the world, as in the spade I will use this evening to turn under the row of peas whose leaves burn with fire blight, brought on by frequent rain and evening mist, and the disfigurement we recognize as judgment in everything.